guys in today's video we're going to be doing uh, shrinky dink earrings we decided to come outside today because it's beautiful weather and we got our dogs here um so we have shrink shrinky dink paper that we already um drew on we used some stickers here to do that then we have the earrings the fish hook ones or shepherd's hook whichever one and um we got these on amazon we got the shrinky dink paper on amazon as well the acrylic markers we got these on amazon these as well these are micro line pens they work really good on shrinky dink um some brushes that was from sam's club it was really cheap. I can't remember how much it was, but it came with a whole bunch of brushes. Mod Podge from Dollar Tree. We also have um, some clear nail polish. We're gonna see how that works. Uh, the rest is self-explanatory scissors and a screwdriver for the backs of the earrings to see how we open the loops. Um, uh, hole punch, a bowl to throw all the plastic, uh, excess plastic in. And these are the ones that we already made with the holes in them. And we use the plate to keep them um, from getting lost. All right, here we go. Now that we're done, we're going to cut it. We use the white paper so we can see the color better. So we cut it and then we're going to hole punch it. Then you can cut the shape out how you want it. We're going to go around. oval more like it there we go we cut them all out and did hole punches and put them shiny side down actually it's supposed to be shiny side up and once we put them on the parchment paper you take it and you put it in the toaster oven. Okay. I'm going to take these out of the oven. Some of them are curly. So what we do is we take this board and put it on top. Grab it. Smush it. And then take this out, and they're flat. Ta-da! 